God, I wish you had started this way earlier than this. What? The art part of the our, oh, yeah, our, well, our art life. Yeah, that's that's just part of the journey, right? You know, because I a lot of the time nobody encouraged you to 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 do an art career. Oh no! In fact, I was actively discouraged yeah. by mom and dad. Uh, I mean, because they figured, you know, you can't make a living doing that. Well, I'm here to tell you we're going to give it a try. <laughs> Hi, I'm John, and this is Bogdan. Join us on our journey as we figure out how to earn a living as artists, introduce you to those we meet, and share what we learn along the way. I'm heading to the studios. I have... Um, projects for a client, uh, some um, social media ads, and uh, I have um, an art project I'm working on. I started it on Saturday, however I wasn't able to finish Saturday, last Saturday was an open Saturday and um, It's very, it's very hard to work uh, while um, you have people coming in, in the studio. I, I was able to, to to start the project, to explore some uh, some things, and hopefully today I'll uh, I'll have enough time to to complete it. time to get back to work and um, I'm having a project um, some ads for social media for a, a client and good friend of mine Kim uh, Kim is a uh, she's an artist uh, but she is a actually a, a, a clinical psychologist uh, I, I work a lot for her and she is into uh, marketing and she believes in all new strategies uh, which I admire her for this but I want to give one more shout out to Jenny Jenny Guarino she is also an artist here in University Studios and Jenny gave me this unbelievable chair as a gift um, it's amazing what can I tell you uh, it's marvelous so thank you Jenny I don't know what I've done to deserve this but I, I, I will enjoy this and I will uh, uh, cherish it. Okay, so I'm back on my project and uh, I actually wanted to add more. Um, well, oops, I'm out of the camera. I actually wanted to add more um, structure and uh, some white, some highlights to to make it even rougher. So I needed some highlights to here and there, and I'm applying with a spatula, a real spatula. Let me, let me show you let me show you how um, it, it looks um, so far this is uh, where I added uh, a little uh, uh, white acrylic on the on the edge of these uh, scratches so yeah it looks looks really good. Uh, but I'm gonna have to leave it to dry for a while and then take the next step. See, like uh, real, uh, like uh, regular photography, when you wanna create a, uh, 
a structural photography, a, a sculptural photography, if I said it correctly, um, you're gonna have to wait because uh, there's all kinds of things involved. I used cement, I used uh, all kinds of um, pastes um, that creates this um, texture and all these, a paint as well, and all these layers um, have to wait to dry before I go any farther. I need some frames for some of the art pieces. Um, some of them have sold recently and um, I, need to, I need to replace. One of them is uh, from the Synapsis series, which is showing this year at the 2021 uh, fest, uh, fo uh, Festival de Fotografia Artistica in Tucumán. And um, I need to have all these series uh, printed and framed in the studio for, uh, uh, for showing. Here I am. Let's see. I think I spent here two hours with John. John is amazing. Uh, I got in, in the in the shop and um, I told him I want some frames, and he said, "Do you want them now?" And I said, "Hell yes!" And uh, I got creative and I got more that I needed. So now I have to sell the artwork to make my money back. Crazy. See, I should never be left alone in, in places like this. It's like a, a paradise. You get creative, too creative, too expensive. Good morning everybody, it's Tuesday morning, um, it is 8 o'clock, 8, actually 8.30 and I'm heading to the studio. I have a couple of projects in the morning to run for a couple of clients and after that I'm going to focus um, on my artwork. So see you in a bit and I'll get you an update when I get to the studio in Silver Sea Studios in Houston. in the studio just made it uh, the traffic wasn't that bad as uh, other mornings let's see this is my studio let me turn on the uh, turn the camera it's a big mess god look at this I won't have time to clean up today uh, because I'm gonna continue with uh, uh, with a mess here working on an art project and um, I'm gonna edit a couple of videos for some clients and um, I don't think this is gonna be the day for cleaning up but um, uh, I have decided because I'm here and because we have an exhibition here at Silver Steel Studios I have decided to give you a uh, tour um, and show you how the exhibition uh, looks like.
had a very uh, fortuitous day. I've done a lot of things. I finished some projects for some clients. I did a lot of work on my artwork. I cleaned actually the studio because I, I wasn't able to function anymore in there. So I'm ready to go. Tomorrow is another day, hopefully as productive as today. to check on John across the street to see uh, where is he what's he working on and if he's hungry I just love my uh, jungly um, garden I worked for for a while uh, I love it this banana tree was completely dead all the way down anyway so after that freeze I decided that I'm not gonna buy any any sensitive flowers so uh, I have this uh, bushes at the entrance just very Italian in a way let me go across the street he is uh, actually working in his parents uh, house um, this is uh, his temporary studio until Louis uh, put the house on the market anyway let's find out what's up with him Bonjour. What's going on? Are you hungry? I am hungry. You, you, mean, me? you mean you didn't cook anything? I didn't cook anything. Sometimes I cook, sometimes yeah. I don't. Let's, let's, don't. let's go. I think it's a cloud thing. You ready? Okay, I'm ready. That's lovely. Someone's just standing outside of my studio and just kind of mooned me. He's changing his shirt and his pants fell down. Lovely. Not something you wanted to see. Uh, so today, among other things, I'm getting a lot of paperwork done. I um, got a surprise call last night from Michael Swank uh, with uh, Proyectos de Residencia and Proyectos de Galeria in Mexico City my residency program, he's in charge, and he had seen the video that Bogdan made for Punk Amarga and liked it and said, you know, this is ready to go and offered me a three month solo show on Artsy, which is huge. And so I'm tremendously grateful. Uh, the issue is, of course, it's what, three or four days before the show's supposed to begin. So I now have to kind of do a bunch of extra stuff, as does he, uh, to get this in the, in the pipeline in time. So very, very appreciative and a little nervous. So I have gotten all that stuff ready for him, ready to upload to Artsy. And now I'm taking and creating the price lists uh, for Punk Amarga, for the people who, who come to the show. Uh, and. I want to take them and put them on a half sheet so that they will fit inside the catalog that, so people can have them handy and, and retain them if they don't buy something that evening. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. I've got to measure out and make sure I get everything straight. I want everything to look really, really good because it's my first show. Uh, and I probably would want to do it anyway. But So I need to go five and a half inches which I'm going to assume is right. I wonder how many of these I will ruin in the process.
chin chin. Chin chin. Chin chin, guys. Let's see, when we got together 20 years ago, we were in Romania when we met. And uh, after we left Romania, we went to the Emirates for a year. We were actually just kind of waiting for our chance to go to New Zealand, where we went next. And we stayed there for a couple of years before moving back to California for a couple of years. And then I got laid off at work, and he was on a student visa, so he had to leave the country. And we got split up until I got the job in Russia, where we stayed for six years before One of the best years. coming in. Yeah, that was a One lovely of the best place. Years. We, we lovely, had, lovely spot. We had a great memories of uh, Russia and mm -hmm. Moscow. But we'll share with you, with you one day. Lots and lots of memories. God, I have to. And then we came home basically because mom and dad were getting old and needed help. And they, they passed away last year. Dad will be dead a year next, next week. And I'm thinking of them every day. Every day. Because I spent so much time with them uh, for the last six years. They were literally uh, living across the street from us. And so it was easy to see them every day. Mm -hmm. Uh, and they needed you know, us every day. I, last year I stopped drinking because mm -hmm. when I moved here, I used to have a glass of wine or two with your father. Yeah, he, had, he read day. an article one day that said that drinking red wine was good for your cholesterol or something. No. So he drank I can tell two. you, my, my tummy was like this. I was like, hmm, there's yeah, something, dad. Go something going on here. So. It's now almost over a year when it, I stopped drinking. This is yeah. my first drink in many, many months. Yes, no rock. No rock. And that's uh, cheers in Romanian. So now that mom and dad passed, uh, dad about a year ago, mom died four months later. And uh, as we finish up their estate, you know, we've got to kind of decide what we're gonna do. Are we gonna stay here, kind of remote from Houston? Because um, we love this place, we love the house, we love there is, there is living no way. here on the lake. And no way we can find this in Houston. No, we couldn't afford anything like this. I mean, not not even a yeah. I mean, yeah, it, it would be. And if we could, it, it wouldn't be safe. Horrible, you know? expensive, yeah. And so we've got now this house. We'll have mom's house, plus whatever comes to us from the estate. So we don't know if we should move to Houston, if we should. Move, move to Romania. To Romania, where we could live on a lot less money. Um, or move anywhere in Europe, because it, we are part of the European Union these days. Yeah, so I could get a visa through you. But the thing is, you know, when you develop an art career, yeah, you know, what are we giving up? Are we going to start from scratch? Yeah, yeah. there's so many questions that we have to we have to think about it and, and find answers. It's it's not an easy step. Um, and we moved quite a bit around the world, and uh, that comes with a price. Not, yes. Not only um, an art market and that side, but you lose your friends. And we learn that you start to make good friends in a place in about five years and to accommodate. Mm -hmm. And we are just past that five years. We we had a good group of friends. We have a good group of collectors. We have a good group of people that knows us and follow us. Mm -hmm. And it's very very tricky. Um, should we leave this behind or not? Mm -hmm. I mean, th the idea then that we would be delayed another five years wherever it is we're moving. Mm. Uh, you know, I'm 61 now, uh, you know, you do the math, um, but and, and I mean, the I art market here is tough, but in the United States the art market is so much bigger, mm -hmm. because it's, it's a bigger place with more people, and then you think of going to a smaller country uh, where there's not as much money in general in the economy, then you, you're just shrinking down your potential of, of earning. Plus, you're removing yourself from this art market where where you stand to make a little more money. 
It's it's a tough tough decision. Let me turn on the light here and try. And maybe it's it's getting dark. Yep. Oh, it's light again. Much Ooh, nicer. Those are our faces. Much nicer. So yeah. Yeah. It's a tough decision. Well, because but it, it, it's a good decision because we have no pressure really. Yeah, and the thing is, that's true. We we really we're doing okay. This is a good position to be in. Right. I mean, I can't tell you where we'll be five years from now, but right now we're okay. And I don't know. It's t it's a tough decision. I'm not sure that our decision will be made completely on business terms. Yeah, I you know, mean, we're gonna have to be happy regardless. I miss home. Yeah, I yeah. miss home. I miss food. I miss people. But then you turn on the news and you don't miss anything anymore. And uh, so I'm in many different places. You know, I don't want to mix missing the place with the actual reality. Yeah. But I guess one of the things that I always considered is, you know, for the last, well, for the first, what, 17, 18 years, uh, or no, probably 16 years, anyway, we were living my life. We were in my jobs, really going to where I could get jobs abroad. And you were kind of following and doing a lot of great work, but that it wasn't what you were best at. You were, you came from a, a background in TV production as a producer uh, and an editor, and we, we walked away from that. And you know, so I'm, I'm wondering, going home, you know, you're going to go home as a as a visual artist, but no one knows you as a visual artist. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. you're truly starting over. Yeah. Uh, but the beauty is that for a long time I was always looking to work for others. Oh, absolutely. And apply everything I know for others. You know. You know. When I was in Romania. At some point, I, I thought of having my little entrepreneur business, whatever mm -hmm. it's called, a uh, small business, and work for others, but as a business. And um, I had a friend, account, accounter, I don't know, accounting friend? An account? An accountant mm -hmm. friend. And uh, she completely discouraged me to open the business because yeah. it's too, too risky. And... Um, I completely. Well, that would have been an editing yeah, business, a production business. Yeah, production house. Yeah, that would have been much riskier, right? I mean, the thing about being an artist is that we can do whatever we want. We're not dependent upon someone else to create art. I mean, we have to be able to afford the supplies, and we have to find people to buy it. But we don't have to find people to create it. So we can stay busy and work to our best selves and develop our our craft. Completely independent from what other people think, anyway. and so yeah, there's 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 more risk at the end for trying to make a living, but the production nobody can get in my way. I love that, but uh, you know now that I've tasted what it's like to be self-employed, I don't think I could go back. Uh, I this has to work. We just we have to make it work. If you like today's content please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. Hit that notification bell too. It really helps our channel if you do.